Hi! It's Sharon, the Night Owl Scrapper, and I come to you with my final video of the projects that I created for CHA. And let's get right to it because I don't want to make this video too long. So, um, I was walking through um, TJ Maxx and I found this on the stationery section. And I thought it was so cute and I look at the looked at the um you know the surface of it and I wondered whether I could alter it or you know make it work. It was very slick so I was kind of hesitant to get it, but I said, "Oh, I'm going to give it a try anyway." Cuz I thought this would be perfect to alter and um have a mini book go inside. So that's what I did. And um this is what I made right here. So it looks like this the little box turned out to be like this. So, um, I used, again, tons of my Lindy Stamp Gang products to alter this. And I really like how it came out. It's the first time I've ever done a box like this. Um, with this weird shape, shape and the, um, you know, the crackle all over it. It's the first time. So anyways, um, what I did to make this look like this, as you can see, it's crackled all over. I really like the crackle technique. So, um, there'll be tons of pictures of this on my blog because I know this lighting over here doesn't really do justice to all the shimmer on this. Um, again, it was a Lindy Stamp Grant products, uh, project, so everything in here has Lindy Stamp Gang. And what I did first was I primed it with gesso, let that dry. Then again, I took a dark color paint and painted the whole box and let that dry. <clears throat> then I used some crackle medium. And after that, I, um, what did I do? Oh, after that, I let that dry and then I used some of that vanilla paint again that I got from Michaels and just did the crackle on it so it looks really cool uh, on top of that I sprayed with my scintillating silver and I hope you could see the shimmer I'm not sure I think you could see it it's really pretty I sprayed the whole box with scintillating silver but after that I took one of my Martha Stewart um, punches and I punched out a whole sheet of cardstock like this and then I embossed it using um, one of the Lindy Stamp Gang embossing folders um, powders I mean and I love how it turned out I cut it around to fit the box and I made it look like a little fence so that's what that looks like like that I'm going to cover that with you know, not that it looks bad, but just because I like to hide seams, I'm going to put, you know, made by right there. So, not to worry on that. So, that's what I did. Um, again, all the products that I use, the colors and everything, will be on my blog. Then, over here, um, I used a little... Um, I don't know what you would call it, I guess flower trim that I got from Recollections is Michael's brand and it was completely white and it's just made out of paper and canvas and then some bling and I just sprayed it with different Lindy Stamp Gang colors. This is the Tiffany Blue and then on top of that just because I wanted it to be even more sh shimmery I added the scintillating silver to it and I love it because it just looks great on there. Um, these are butter, you know, Martha Stewart butterflies that I sprayed and also embossed. I hope you could see the um, look on these butterflies. They're so pretty. Um, I love the texture of how the embossing powder looks when you just don't dip the whole thing. You just sprinkle a little bit on it after spraying it with your sprays and then heat set it. So pretty and it just curls automatically. I love it. I put some bling in the centers of all of these. 
and then I did the same thing here it's just different butterflies different colors and it's really nice and tough like it that thing won't come off of there um, I took some chipboard pieces that I got back in the day I don't remember I think sometime last year or the year before I showed it in one of my haul videos it was a little box that cost me 49 cents and it had tons of little not chip but wooden pieces with sayings on it so I took our journey from there, sprayed it with Lindy Stamp Gang sprays, and look at that. It looks gorgeous. It even looks like it was embossed, and it wasn't. It was just sprayed with the product. Super pretty. I really like that. Then on the top here, I did... Um, oh, I forgot to say. Then I took some trim. I got this trim a long time ago from somebody here on YouTube that was selling it. Um... I believe this was it was Kelly from Canada. I'm not I don't remember, so I'm not even gonna state that, but um I got it and just trimmed the whole box. I just you know, layered it on top of this. And I thought it looked cute. Then I did the same thing on the top here. I you know, crackle painted everything and put some more of that um trim at the top, then I put this nice butterfly on here. And this particular one is from MFT, this back one is one of the MFT dies and then I just layered a Martha Stewart butterfly on it put some bling on it and did the whole spraying and embossing technique on there very pretty the pictures you'll see how shimmery this is then I put another one of those flowers from the garland because I they were two in a package so I got this one and put it all together you could see that there's cording that joins them together on this one and it I let the last two edges you know hang just on the side right there but then I cut the other one apart and I got some of the um, flowers on top then more butterflies over here then on the side I took um, some of the embellishments from the collection that I use for the mini album that's inside this box because there is a mini album in here I'm going to show you um, and I just put them on there. I sprayed them with scintillating silver as well. I love it because it's fabric. And and also some lace in the back. And then a little button there. Super cute. I thought it would look like little windows. So that. Then in the back, I um, got a chip uh, cardstock uh, die cut piece from the collection. And I just um, put it on there behind some trim. And this trim I got from Donna. Hi Donna, she is um, 123 card maker here on YouTube. She gave this to me a long time ago in a rack. And I loved it and I had been saving it. And I, it was the perfect thing to add to the back of this. So I did that. That's the back. And on the other side, just the same thing with the fabric and the lace and the button. So that's that. That's how it looks and that's how it stands. Um, this is, I left the bottom so you could see. This is how it was before. That's the look. That was all over the box. That's what the box looked like. So the ribbon up here just ties the roof together. And then this is how it opens. You just open this up. And inside here is a little mini that I made. To go with this box so it opens like this and then you get the mini album that goes with the book with the box and it's a very simple mini and it's small because I wanted it to fit nicely on there just in case it got you know thick I didn't I just um, left it like that because I'm going to embellish it once um, you know I get the pictures for it and it has a lot of room in there to grow, so if I want to put roses or anything that's 3D, it can grow in there and it'll fit in the box still. So that's why I made it this size. Um, in the cover, again, I used the Colorbox uh, Flea Market collection. Um, and I really love that paper. I sprayed every single page, as you can see, with the scintillating silver and then just etched it etched the whole album with the same trim that I did in the box. Um, 
So in the front over here, I kept the same thing that I was going for in the box because, of course, you know, they go together. So um, I got more of that garland and just cut it all out and put the three little um, flowers right there. Then I put some bling in the back. And then um, another piece of the fabric embellishments from the collection, which I sprayed, as you can see, with the scintillating silver. Hope you could see the shimmer there. And um, some more butterflies with the same technique, just sprayed, and then a little bit of embossing. I love doing that. I love the distressed look. Look at that. I mean, this video, it doesn't do it justice. Look at all the shimmer. You could see it in the back. It's amazing. I really love it. It's really pretty, really cute, and usually not the colors I do. Like I'm more of a vibrant color person, but these turn out to be so cute, so nice and pale. I, I, not pale, but like pastel-y colors. <laughs> and um, again, you know, all the pages have the um, scintillating silver on it. You could see it. It's just gorgeous, just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I um, etched all the pages with the acrylic paint that I used to paint the the what do you call it the box so everything matches and goes together and it'll be fun to fill this little album up so you just you know they go together they look good together then you just when you're done you just open the little box and I didn't do anything with the inside of the box because it matches like my colors and you know with the teal and the aqua and the greens so I just put the album in there and as you can see there's a lot of room for it to grow and get thick so I'm not worried about that if I want to make it bulky and then it just ties up nicely at the top just like that so um this ribbon came with the box, so it was kind of um, a little difficult to do all the altering to this box with the ribbon attached to it, especially the painting, without, you know, painting the actual ribbon. But I just rolled it up, put it in a clip, and then did everything to the box. And I didn't get too much on it, so pretty good. So, um, that's it. This is my last project that I wanted to share with you from CHA. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you liked all the products, everything I used, and post on all these are going to be in our, my blog, smscrapperdesigns.blogspot.com. I hope you like them. So, thank you so much in advance for all your comments. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon with more projects. Bye!